Hello pool owners and welcome back for yet another video. Today I'm going to share some reasons why you might be getting a powdery substance on the bottom of your pool. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and clicking the like button. Now we all spend hours taking care of our pools and making them perfect, but sometimes things happen and we really don't know why, like having an annoying film on the pool surface. Many times this can be as simple as our chemical readings are off, which can cause this. We should keep our chemical readings as follows. Free chlorine at two to four parts per million, pH 7.2 to 7.8. Total alkalinity between 80 to 120 parts per million. Calcium hardness, two to 400 parts per million. And our CYA stabilizer between 30 to 50 parts per million. Salt pools can go up to 70 parts per million. Here are the top seven reasons why you're getting a white film on the bottom of your pool. First is the use, or more precisely, the overuse of calcium hypochlorite. Calcium hypochlorite is a great sanitizer, but overusing it can cause a white film on the bottom if it doesn't dissolve all the way. Remember, it's calcium. Try dissolving your cal hypo in a bucket first, then adding it to the pool. You can also try liquid chlorine, which I always recommend. Next is the use of calcium chloride. This is used to raise our calcium hardness, which should be kept between two to 400 parts per million. Calcium chloride is great when you have soft water and need to raise it to the right level. If your fill water is already hard, there's really no reason to use it. If you need to add calcium chloride, I recommend adding it in stages, a little bit at a time over a few days. This will allow it to dissolve so we're not making one huge chemical adjustment all at once. Next is our filter, which includes sand, cartridge, and DE. Filters are meant to capture dirt. If it's not working at optimal level, all the dirty water can re-enter the pool. For sand filters, we want to check the laterals and the standpipe for broken or cracked areas. If they're broken, you'll need to replace them. A broken lateral or standpipe will certainly allow dirty water to re-enter the pool and the dirt will settle to the bottom. Check your cartridge filter for holes, rips, tears, and replace it if needed. And for DE filters, check the grids for holes, rips, or tears, and replace the grids if you need to. Next on our list is the overuse of algicides, which can also cause a film on the bottom of the pool. Algicides are a great part of our weekly maintenance, but overuse of them can cause problems, especially if you're using a metal-based algicide like copper. Cut back on the algicides and only use a Polyquat 60 that doesn't contain any metals and is safe for vinyl liners. Salt pools are going to have a chlorine generator and the generator produces waste and this waste can make it back into the pool. The white flakes in a salt pool are almost always calcium carbonate. Calcium flakes occur because the chlorine cell creates a very high pH byproduct sodium hydroxide, which can lead to scale formation in the cell. To combat this, it's best to inspect or clean the cell every three months. Next is the early stages of an algae bloom. Many times algae starts on the surface and then it shows as green water. I made a video about this and you can find it right here. Now, not all algae starts with green water. This basically comes down to maintaining our chemicals and keeping our filtration system running at peak performance. Last, and hopefully it doesn't happen to you, but the actual surface might be disintegrating. Here's a picture that one of my customers sent me. Her 23 year old aggregate pool was starting to come apart in the most literal of senses. She kept vacuuming, but the pieces kept reappearing. Most plaster and aggregate pools can last a pretty long time, maybe about 15 to 17 years. But as with everything, it does have an expiration date. If your pool plaster or aggregate is about 15 years or older, you might be in the range of needing to have it resurfaced in the next two to three years. There you have it, the most common reasons why your pool might be getting a white powdery film on the bottom. Thanks for watching.